Hello, my name is Mark Sampson and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the eCover Creator software which I am selling on eBay. When you order this software from me you will receive a CD-ROM in the post. Once you've inserted your CD-ROM into the computer it will load up with this screen on your main web browser. The first thing you do is left click on my purchases and then left click on the ebook cover creator. Now I just want to quickly point out that here it says file download. Now it isn't actually downloading the file from the internet. Because it's on a web browser it acts as though it is downloading it from the internet but it is actually linked to the file on the CD-ROM itself. Now I believe you do need to be um, online to actually use the software but the file is actually on the CD-ROM so click run and then run again and then the software will load and if you want to read that text do so and then click on this next button here and then on this screen this is where we do all of the work for creating our e-cover um, so this is the top of the screen we scroll down until we get to here now there are several different templates that we can use for creating our e-cover and um, there's even one for a CD look which is very useful for eBay if you are creating a pro your own product because um, you now can't sell digitally delivered products on eBay um, you have to send it if you want to sell an ebook on eBay you have to sell it send it on a CD now so that is quite a useful uh, feature of this software um, just for the purposes of this video though I am going to use that one and now the next thing to do is to type in the text that we want to appear on the e-cover now I'm going to create an e-cover for a dog training ebook so I'm just going to type in dog training and then we select the font for that text I'm going to select Arial and the color I'm going to keep it as black the next thing to do is to type in this box here text that will appear on the spine down here now if you've selected an e-cover such as this one which doesn't have a spine you obviously just need to leave it blank if you have selected an e-cover with a spine but you don't want any text to be on the spine again leave it blank or alternatively enter text that you want to appear on the spine if you do. Now I'm going to leave it blank because I don't want any text on the spine. Then the next thing to do is to select the image that will appear on the main cover here. You can either use one of these preloaded images or personally I prefer to select my own image either an image that I've made from a graphics software or you can use um, an image that is free to use from the internet now this is what I'm going to do in order to do that um, you just find the image on your hard drive by using this browse button and then selecting the image and the path to that image will be shown here and then instead of using this image the image that you've chosen from your hard drive will be used. Now I'm going to find an image on the internet for my dog training e-cover. Now I typed into my favorite search engine free dog training pictures and I found this website. So here we are we've got a link here for dog picture gallery and there's lots of different dog images but just for the purposes of this video I'm going to use this one here. All you need to do is 
um, first of all you need to get that image onto your computer now the way that you do that is very easy just right click on the image and then select, select save picture as and then save the image where you would like it on your hard drive I'm just going to save it to my desktop and now we go back to our eCover creator software and we find that image on our hard drive and the way we do that is select browse now I saved mine to the desktop so select desktop find the image and there it is free dog picture gallery dot jpeg and path to that image is there now if you leave the Im an image here that will actually um, default to that rather than using the image that you selected from your hard drive so you do actually need to unselect this image here and now here is where we choose an image that we want on the spine if applicable now again if you selected a template which doesn't have a spine leave it blank um, alternatively if you um, leave it blank and you have selected a template with a spine the same image that you've put on the main cover will be repeated on the side but um, obviously squashed up to fit so if you don't want that to happen as I say use a template which doesn't have a spine or select a different image and now we are ready to generate our e-cover so all we need to do is left click on generate e-cover and here is our dog training e-cover for our ebook and now we need to get this image onto our computer so that we can use it now you can do this in one of two ways uh, you can either select the next button and you can view the results or copy to clipboard so that will just actually copy the image to your clipboard and then you can paste it into uh, where, um, where, wherever you want it to go now I personally all I prefer to do is just save it to my computer using the same method that I did when I saved this image to my computer from the internet so we just right click select save picture as again I'll save it to my desktop and now if I go to my desktop and open the image there we are we can see it clearly and now I can use that image any way I choose either on my website on an auction site um, so that's it's there to display the product of dog training that I'm setting I hope that you found this video tutorial useful and I would like to thank you for watching goodbye